straight. You stay, you stay aggressive, you're gonna get a pin. He's tired. Uh, I've been wrestling since I was three, and uh, wrestling's life, just pure and simple. Um, it's got me where I need to be. My dad was a wrestler in high school and college, and then my brother, of course, started at three years old too, and then wrestling is just, I guess, was in our blood. You know, I can't can't fight what's in your blood, and you just gotta go with it, and wrestling is gonna always be in our veins. It's a very battle-oriented, contact sport. It's a strategic yet hard-nosed sport where you're going at, or at it, but you have to be smart about it too. Wrestling is mental toughness in the sense that like you need to be in good shape, you need to be strong to be a wrestler, but nine times out of ten, the more mentally tough guy is going to win. My state qualifying match my sophomore year, I was down by five points in the third period, and I mean, I just, I just went crazy the last minute and got five stalling calls, and the kid got disqualified on stalling calls in the last minute of the match because I was just going crazy. and coach was just telling me it's not over till it's over you know you're not out of it till the whistle blows so you can do anything that you really set your mind to The state tournament, it's, you know, it's every, everything a kid dreams of. He wants to get there, he wants to win state, and basically anything's possible down here. It's, you know, a dream world, basically, and, uh, you know, it kind of catches you, and you're like, wow, this is this is the state tournament, and it's huge, and kind of overwhelms you, but uh, once you get out on the mat, it's, it's all out of your head. Wrestling, is, I think, Blue would believe is the hardest sport out there, but it's the sport that would prepare you for anything. It shows me how to be respectful, and it helps me humble myself, and it teaches, teaches me how to handle my losses as well as good as I handle my wins. <laughs>